Logan may not be your typical superhero movie, but director James Mangold still packed Wolverine's last cinematic outing with more Easter eggs, comic book references, and X-Men links than you could ever discover in one viewing. Fortunately, Movie Pilot is on hand to help you out. So join us as we break down Wolverine's third solo venture in microscopic detail for the die-hard comic book fans out there. No. No. <laughs> Is it just us, or was the Dark Phoenix unusually prominent as we flip through the comic book images that comprise the Marvel logo at the beginning? Now that we know X-Men's Supernova is set to adapt the Dark Phoenix saga, this makes perfect sense. The license plate for Logan's vehicle reads WER112. It could just be a coincidence, but number 112 of Uncanny X-Men saw Magneto neutralize the team's powers and reduce their motor functions to that of a child. Logan stars a D-powered Wolverine who strives to help X-23, a younger version of himself. Speaking of Magneto, a billboard with the word MAG appears more than once throughout the film. It's hard not to think of Professor Xavier's nemesis Magneto every time that we see these letters. Director James Mangold told ComicBook.com that he deliberately set Logan in the year 2029 so the story wouldn't clash with the events of X-Men Days of Future Past, which roughly took place somewhere around 2024. Greenwood Cemetery has cropped up in Marvel Comics before, including titles such as Deadpool, Too Soon, and Fantastic Four, although no significant characters were buried there to our knowledge. When Boyd Holbrook's character first meets Logan, he compares the Wolverine to an escaped Tiger or Freddy Krueger. The two iconic figures are often pitted against one another in online fan fiction due to the fact that they both possess razor-sharp claws. While we can't seem to find an exact comic book counterpart to Gabriela Lopez, the nurse who rescues Laura from captivity, she does share a similar first name with Gabriella Kinney, one of 10 Wolverine clones created by Alchemax Genetics in the comics. Alkali Lake features prominently throughout the X-Men franchise, as this was the underground base where Colonel William Stryker originally experimented on Wolverine and turned him into Weapon X. It's no surprise then that Donald Pierce works for a company that shares the same name and further links become more apparent as the film unfolds. To keep Xavier's powers in check, Logan locks the telepath away in a large room called the Tank, which shares some surprisingly similar design features with the Cerebro room in the X-Mansion. Did Logan and Caliban repurpose the technology to block Xavier's psychic abilities? Among all of the random trinkets that adorn Logan's home with Caliban, a samurai sword can be clearly seen hanging on the wall. This harkens back to Logan's Japanese adventures from the second Wolverine movie and his general comic book ties to samurai culture. During one of the film's quieter moments, Logan is shown holding his dog tags, which he first acquired in the film X-Men Origins Wolverine, right before the adamantium was bonded to his skeleton. Laura and her protector Gabriela Lopez hide out somewhere called Liberty Motor Hotel. When Charles relays the information to Logan, the two make a sly reference to how the Statue of Liberty played a key role in the climax of X-Men during one of Wolverine's earliest fights with the team. When Laura first demonstrates her abilities, hunting down the Reavers who have invaded Logan's home, there are strong echoes of that unforgettable scene from X2 X-Men United where Wolverine goes full berserker rage and kills the soldiers breaking into the X-Mansion. Richard E. Grant plays a villainous character called Dr. Xander Rice who is responsible for the experiments that created X-23. While the story plays out rather differently, Rice is also responsible for imbuing Laura with her powers in the comics. In the Casino Hotel, Charles and Laura watch an old western film called Shane from 1953. The story holds surprising parallels with Logan, as George Stevens' film follows an old gunfighter brought out of retirement for one last conflict. Shane's words hold particular resonance for Laura, who quotes the film as a eulogy for Logan in the final scene. While Charles uses the bathroom in a rest stop, Logan finds X-Men comic books that embellish his real-life exploits with the team, and as he leaves the store, Wolverine grabs some cigars, a signature part of his comic book look. The fictional comics featured in Logan are Uncanny X-Men number 117 and 132. While the covers and stories inside are different in the movie, their real-life counterparts still hold some relevance. In number 117, Xavier discusses in length how he first decided to dedicate his life to improving human-mutant relations, and number 132 contains a now iconic fight between Logan and Donald Pierce. In the mobile phone video that reveals information about Alkali Transigen and their experiments, one of the case files reveals that DNA was taken from Christopher Bradley. 
In the comics, this particular mutant possessed electrical powers, and he also appeared on screen in X-Men Origins Wolverine as part of Team X, which was led by Colonel Stryker. A news report on the radio reveals that an attack happened before in Westchester, resulting in the death of numerous X-Men members. Westchester is where the X-Mansion is located, implying that Xavier lost control of his powers and accidentally killed his former students at home. This idea is adapted loosely from Old Man Logan, the Mark Miller story arc that inspired this film. Although in the source material, it was Wolverine who killed the X-Men under the influence of Mysterio, a Spider-Man villain. Laura isn't the only test subject created by Rice's experiments. Among the other children, there are some familiar names for comic book fans to pour over, including Bobby, who may possess the DNA of either Iceman, Bobby Drake, or Sunspot, Roberto Bobby DaCosta, and Richter, an original member of X-Force who could create earthquakes. Richter also uses his seismic abilities against X-24 in a key moment, demonstrating the full extent of his powers. Those are all the Easter eggs and comic book references we spotted in the movie Logan. If you think we missed any, let us know in the comments section below.